If you clicked on this video, you probably have a new and exciting product idea. Whether you're a startup who wants to bring a new product to the market, an entrepreneur looking to bring new value to customers, or you work for an incubator that needs to rapidly validate new ideas to decide where to invest your time in, you know it's a risky process with a lot of uncertainty involved. You don't want to spend a year building a product to then realize nobody wants to buy it. But this is very hard to find. Actual proof of a problem solution fit. So, you need to go straight to your customer. I'm not talking about interviewing potential customers and asking them if they would buy your product as the interviewer tends to oversell their idea and the interviewee is very inclined to say yes. You'd wear it with everything. Or do a quantitative survey where you ask would you be interested in buying this product? Because being interested in is still a very long way from actually buying it. I mean hard objective data that if your solution hits the market, you will be sure to have traction. In this video, I will explain how you can run this experiment quickly and validate true consumer purchase intent for all your new ideas. At Bundle, we call this experiment the smoke test. The term smoke test originates from the 1870s. It was used by engineers to refer to rapid prototyping, and mainly to test if the hardware of a new product would hold. By quickly building it, the team could learn if the basic design was strong enough before investing expensive long-term development. If the test failed, smoke would arise from the circuit. And that's how the term smoke test was born. Now the principle remains the same, but instead of testing the technical viability of your product, we will test the commercial viability. Imagine you have a tangible product. Let's say, for example, I invented the ice cream toaster. The simple way of testing if people are willing to pay for it is by putting a price on it and placing it in a store. If at the end of the week, a number of products were sold, this actually proves that people are willing to pay for it. They walked into your store, saw your product, understood the value, and took it home with them. Now a smoke test does exactly that, but entirely online. You won't need a retail store or an existing product. All you need is four things. A unique selling proposition, a website that explains and sells your idea, visitors to come and visit your website, and tracking tools to measure if people are actually smashing that buy button. First things first, your unique selling proposition. This is a unique added value your customer gets when buying your product. Ideally, you have empathized with your customer and found a need or a problem to which you will give the answer. Secondly, you have researched competition and found a unique value space that you can claim in the market. Great examples are Facebook, Connect with Friends, Netflix, See What's Next, and Uber, Get a Ride Now. Next up, the fun part, time to build a website. Now hold on, don't think this isn't for you just because you've never built one. Making a website these days is actually incredibly easy, but it's also a ton of fun and it can be free. There are a lot of drag and drop websites with beautiful templates to choose from. Just pick any from their long list and start adding in your text and images. Feel free to get funky in your design, but at Bundle we like to stick to a few key pieces of content that we always provide in every website. Start off with your unique selling proposition at the top, together with a beautiful banner image. Next, choose three benefits that explain the value of the product to your customer. Next, choose three to four features that clearly explain how your user can achieve these benefits. As a fourth part, you'll need to add in some credibility. These can be testimonials from customers, logos from companies, or even features in the news. The fifth thing you'll need is a price point for your product. And last but not least, the buy button. <laughs> this buy button is the key, because whenever a visitor clicks on the buy button, they show real purchase intent. Someone clicking on your buy button is exactly the same as someone walking out of the store with your product. Buttons such as discover now, learn more, or subscribe are great shows of interest. But if we really want to measure that purchase intent, we need to go for buttons such as buy now, order now, or pre-order now. The third ingredient you need for your smoke test is a tracking tool. A tracking tool is an online tool you use to measure, analyze, and understand your website traffic. Now, this is very important for us because we need to figure out from all the people that visit the page and see the product, how many of them actually convert and press that buy button. And this conversion is a key to proving your problem solution fit. I suggest using VWO, as it's the easiest to set up and has a 30-day free trial. I won't explain in this video on how to set it up, but I'll be sure to link to a guide below explaining you how to do it. Now for the last part, you need to find a source of traffic. There are a lot of options, Google search ads, Google display ads, customer email lists, but the one I suggest you use are Facebook, Instagram display ads. Why? Because they're the easiest to set up and you don't necessarily pay a lot per visitor. To create your ad, simply take the image and the USP from your website 
and put them together into one design. Now be sure your ad is appealing enough because a bad ad leads to not enough data to base your learnings on. Depending on how well your ad works, you will be paying around 20 cents to two euros per visitor. Shut up and take my money. Just be sure to get at least 1,000 visitors on your website to have a statistically significant size to base your learnings on. And boom, your smoke test is live. By now, the results should start pouring in. And you might wonder, at what point is my smoke test actually considered a success? When can you conclude that there's proof of commercial viability? That you've actually hit a problem solution fit? If per thousand visitors, at least 50 of them press that buy button, you have a conversion of 0.5%. And above 0.5%, you can conclude with confidence that you've created a product people are willing to pay for. If you're below 0.5% conversion, we suggest you either kill or pivot your idea. <laughs> Highly optimized e-commerce stores consistently hit a conversion of 2 to 3%. But keep in mind that behind these websites, there are huge teams constantly working on smoothing out and improving the buyer's journey. If your landing page built in a few days already hits a conversion of 0.5%, that means there is a lot of untapped potential. And sure, you could improve the conversion by bettering your ad targeting, or optimizing your website experience, but it's besides the point. The smoke test is not about hitting the highest conversion number. It's about quickly proving that there are people out there willing to buy your product. If you're considering putting sweat and tears into building your own product, maybe you should roll up your sleeves and do a smoke test first. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I consider making more videos explaining every step of the smoke test more in depth. If you have any other questions or other topics you want me to cover, let us know in the comment section below. And remember, data or it didn't happen.